Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another addition to my Cricut for Beginners series. Today's video is all about how you can download fonts from the internet to be used um, in Cricut Design Space or anywhere on your computer. So I have already purchased the Honey Bunch font from KA Font Designs. I adore her fonts, but this tutorial will work for any font that you're downloading, whether it's a free font on dafont.com or maybe you purchased it on Creative Market, this will work the same. I am using a Mac today, so I will post a video um, later this week how to do this on a Windows computer, but it's a lot easier than you think. So like I said, I've already purchased this and I'm gonna go to my receipt and it will pull my download up here. So we wanna download the file and we want to open this zip file. So let's download it and open it when it's ready. Now, before I do anything, I want to make sure that, especially since I want to use this in Cricut Design Space, that Cricut Design Space is not open. So I already, I closed it out. I made sure that it was fully quit. I didn't just X out of the window because when you're downloading a font, when the program's open, the font's not going to show up until you relaunch the program. So let's go into here and you will see that um, you have two different files for the font. You have the open type and the true type font. This font also came with um, some doodles, which are adorable. So this is another font itself. So it did technically come with two fonts. It really doesn't matter if you're just using these fonts for like Microsoft Word or Cricut Design Space. It doesn't matter if you download the open type font or the true type font. But I like Photoshop. I know a lot of people don't use that. And I always just download the open type font. There's not really that much of a difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm on my Mac. I'm going to press command. And while I'm holding down command, I'm going to hit the space bar. And spotlight search will come up. So let's press, let's type in font book. Open that up. And this is literally all you have to do. I am going to, I actually already have this downloaded, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to click here, hold onto the file and just drag it in. And I already have this font, so that's why it's giving me a problem. And let's drag the Honey Bunch extras in. Again, already have this font. This won't, window won't pop up for you. And it's officially downloaded on your computer. So I want to X out of everything. Open Cricut Design Space. Open up a new project. And let's say I want to write the words happy birthday. Sticker. Select your font. Let's go into font. You can just type it in to find it easier. We know what it's called. It's called Honey Bunch. And there you go. It's that easy. So make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and hit the red bell so you always get notified when I post a video. I post lots of tutorials. I promise for my more intermediate and advanced crafters, I have tutorials coming for you. Just trying to help out the newbies first um, so we can all kind of get on the same page. Follow me on Instagram as well, at Alexis Rose Design. I'm posting, I post consistently on there, tips, tricks, tutorials, mini tutorials rather, um, and you can see some of the products that I sell. So I will see you guys next time.